colleagues on behalf of Thompson Solicitors, can I extend their Congress greetings of friendship, of solidarity, of comradeship, and of course, their best wishes for a successful and productive Congress. Colleagues, it's been over a year now that we've been living with the pandemic. We will all have lost friends, good comrades and loved ones to this terrible virus. I think it's fair that we recognise that if it wasn't for the various lockdowns and other measures, that many more lives would have been lost. And that our frontline workers, for whom the last 12 months have been incredibly challenging and difficult, would have been simply intolerable and untenable if it wasn't for those measures. And so we recognise they were right, despite some of the collateral damage that they've caused to mental health, to cancer waiting lists, etc. But colleagues, we must also be absolutely clear and speak with one voice. And my rally call to us all today is that we do that. We say without any shame, with absolute clarity to every employer that neither the pandemic nor the lockdown nor any measure serves as one iota of an excuse for employers to mistreat our members, to run roughshod over employment rights, to ignore health and safety and to put our members' lives at risk and therefore to send out the warning cry that this great movement of ours, trade unions, affiliates, organisations such as Scottish Hazards, trade union lawyers like Thompson's solicitors, will do whatever it takes, whatever it takes, colleagues, to protect our members. Whether that is campaigning, industrial action, or taking legal challenges. And there's been several and many successful examples of all of them over the last 12 months. And to be clear that we will accept no excuses, that we will stand up and stand together and to stand for our members and our people. We will hold bad employers to account and we will force them through all of these measures to make things safer and fairer for every Scottish worker. Golly, thank you very much.